Geometry, uh, we'll investigate drawing a line segment. So we'll enter the Geometry app and start as usual with File, New. Now, um, the line segment tool we can access in a couple of ways. We can simply choose it from this drop down menu. Here it is, the top right one. Or we can tap on Draw, Basic Object, Line Segment. So probably the first method was the easiest then. Now to actually draw a line on the class pad screen, we tap once for one end of the line and tap a second time for the other end. Um, alternatively, you can tap, uh, I'll tap once on the screen here. Now I'm tapped on the screen, but I'm also holding my cursor down. And then when we've got the other end of the line where we want it, we can release and uh, so two ways to basically draw a line segment. You can also connect together points. If I tapped onto B, I could then tap onto C and those two are connected together. Notice at the bottom of the screen here, if I uh, go near to D, C, you can see the instruction is snap to D, C, D. If I go near to D, the where am I? Here I am, snap to point D. If I move up near A, it's going to snap to point A and so on. Or if I'm nowhere at all, we just get a point and a line segment. Now, to determine features of the line, we need to use the measurement toolbar. At the very end of this row of icons, there's a little arrow pointing off to the right. We tap onto this, and this gives us access to the measurement toolbar. Now, depending on what's selected, is depends on what we'll see. Let's t start with the line segment AB. So I'm going to tap once in the middle of it to select it. You notice it's selected because it's become bold and it's got a couple of little handles on it. Now, the default thing is that ClassPad will always measure a length of a, an object like this and we can see its length there. However, we can also investigate a few other things. From the menu here, we could, instead of choosing the length, we could choose the gradient of the line, which in this case is being displayed here, or we could choose to display the equation of the line. There are some other options under this menu as well, but we won't be looking at them just yet. They get a, a little bit more advanced. So we'll stop there.